Good morning, it's Rebecca from Rebecca Inc. Today we are going to draw a tiger. Kaylin wanted to draw a tiger, so that's what we're gonna do. You need a piece of paper, a pencil, a marker, and an eraser. So put me on pause and gather up your supplies. All right, you are back. I'm gonna move my guide. You're gonna grab your pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so that you can see me better. And we're gonna start in the center of our paper. Our paper is lined up vertically today. And our tiger is gonna live in the very center of our paper. So we are gonna start with a circle. It's gonna be about this big. You're gonna get your whole arm going from your shoulder to get this shape. Go around and around, and once you get it, set your pencil down nice and light. And you can keep going around until you see it's starting to look more like a circle. If you've never drawn with me before, um, you'll see none of this is perfect. We're creating some guides for ourselves to use for when we switch over to our marker. So in the beginning here, be nice and light and loose and uh, forgiving with yourself, okay? So next in, we're gonna do another circle. It's gonna sit a little more toward the top, um, a little further away at the bottom, you'll see as I draw here. So see how it's a little bit closer at the top, a little further away at the bottom, just kind of slightly off center inside your bigger circle. All right, one more circle just in from that. You can kind of space it evenly. I go nice and light around and round I go until I get that spacing the way that I want it. You do the same. It's not gonna be perfect. Don't expect it to be perfect. So we have three concentric circles. All right, next up, we're gonna do the ears. Now the ears are gonna sit right on that inside circle that we just drew. We're gonna add two circles, one big one here, about like that. Now this circle can be more oval or circular shape. Then up from that, a smaller one, like that. Now, off of this circle, we're going to do another one, about the same size, and then a smaller one up on top. We're going to add in some connecting triangles, as I like to call them, from this top circle down to this bottom circle. We're just going to connect those two circles with a line just like that. So if you were looking for that triangular shape, it's right there. Same thing on the other side. And on this ear, we're going to add a little diagonal triangle, uh, that is like one side of a triangle off to that side. All right, same thing on the other side. Connect those circles with some connecting triangles. One circle down to the next. Same there. One circle down to the next. Now if you look at a tiger, they have um, stripes on the inside of their face and then they have this ring of white. So this outer circle is going to be that ring of white and most of their face is going to live within this inner circle. So now we're going to draw uh, part of that face. We're going to add in some ovals that come just down from our ears and they are going to be about this big, just like that pointed up toward our ear, kind of in line with that ear actually. Same thing on the other side, add in a nice little oval, headed up toward that ear. This is going to let us know some markings on their fur as well as uh, where to put their eyes. Now we're going to break up this oval with a few shapes. Right in the center of it, we're going to add in an oval that goes this way. This is going to help us know where to put some some of their stripes, same thing on the other side, divide it right up. Now we're going to add in some eye circles. So just off of that last oval that we did, we're going to draw a circle about this big. And inside that circle, more up toward the top, we're going to add in another circle. For these smaller shapes, I'm planting my wrist and I'm just using my fingers. So I did one circle, inside the top of that another circle, and inside that a little circle. That's going to be the highlight in our eye. Let's go over to that other oval and do the exact same thing. I'm planting my wrist, round and round I go with my fingers, that first circle, and then at the top another circle, 
and inside that another circle for a highlight. All right, now tigers have some really beautiful um, outlines around their eye and they kind of read as a triangle. So now we're going to create that. Over top of these circles, we're going to create uh, almost along this oval here, we're going to create a triangular shape. We're going to let it arc just ever so slightly. So you can start like up at this corner and just go over about that far. Add in a little connecting triangle there back to that eye circle. And then we're going to come straight down. It's kind of dramatic. And then add in another little connecting triangle. So we've created uh, almost like a full triangle with an arced bottom. Same thing on the other eye. We're going to kind of cut right over the top of that circle with a slightly arced line and then straight down just like that. Now add in those little connecting triangles just like we did over there. They're skinny but they'll get colored in nice and dark for our tiger's um, eye markings, the markings around his eye. Okay, now we need to know where is the exact center of our face. So we're going to take our hand right up to the top of our paper and just the best we can divide our circles right in half. And how I'm doing this is I'm planting my wrist, setting my marker down, you set your pencil down, and I'm lightly dragging it right down the center of my paper just like that, just nice and light and loose. This is gonna help us get some fur markings as well as know where to put our nose. So down here, we, on the inside of our smallest face circle, we are going to add in a triangle. It's gonna be kind of uh, flat and broad, just like that. And right across the top there. To get these shapes, I'm just using mostly my forearm and I'm just kind of going back and forth and back and forth until I feel like they're fairly even. If mine, see how mine's just slightly off center? That's fine. And then I'm going to come up here and just kind of flatten out that bottom edge. All right, off of this triangle, we are going to add in a few circles. So the circles, I'm going to want one to live on this half and the other to live on the other half. So go ahead and start drawing your circles right down that center line so you know where they're going to want to live. And they go down to that next row of circles, if that makes sense. So we had our inside circle and then we had that middle circle there. So these little circles that divide up our nose are going to live one on that side and one on that side and they end at this circle here. Now we need a mouth. Uh, our mouth is going to kind of overlap all of those shapes we just drew and come down to this bottom part of our circles, our very first circle we drew. It's about that same size. Okay, so we've got our mouth shapes happening here. Now, their mouth right at this edge is a little more flat. So I'm going to draw from the tip of that triangle just going to kind of draw a nice fat wide triangle that goes from there over to the edge of that mouth circle I just drew. So I'm, when we go over that I will be using that and then hopping on to our little jowl. Let's go back into our nose and add some details for their nostril. We need a little circle right there and another one about right there. It kind of sits inside that mouth circle we drew and it goes right over top of the triangle. Now the top of their nose is a little bit arced so we're going to draw an arc from this corner of the triangle into that center line. It's a little flatter. To get this arc I'm planting my wrist and I'm just moving my hand back and forth and back and forth to get that arc. I'm going to take a second see if they're about level and if not fix them up. Okay, from here, let's go over. We had these two circles that we just drew. We're going to go kind of around that circle, right from this edge, draw a triangle right up, kind of that center line right there. Oh, my 
marker is not working all of a sudden. So it kind of goes like that. You can kind of slice those a little bit if you want. There we go. This is just going to give us an idea of where is the bridge of their nose. Okay, now up here, right at the top of that triangle, we're going to add in an oval in between those eyes to help us with our fur guides. And now we're ready to add in some fur. Let me double check my guide here. Yeah, we're ready for some fur lines. Okay, so for our tiger, imagine the center line that we drew is like the part in their hair. At the very tippy top around this top circle, we're gonna put just a little divot right like that, like that's their part. So it would be like that, headed around that circle now. Just down from that, along this next arced line that we have, we're gonna go, we're gonna start at that part and kind of curve over toward the ear and then back toward the part. Curve out from the part and then connect it. So we end up with like one stripe there. Now we're gonna do one that falls um, in between one, Actually, let's do, yeah, it's going to be just above this next circle. We're going to do another one, and it's going to go just a little bit wider over to this oval that we had. Just like that. So these are kind of coming off. You, you want a little dip right in that center like it's a part. These shapes are kind of organic, so they don't have to be super perfect. All right, next up, we're going to arc it a little bit more down and make it more solid. They get a little more solid as they come down. All right, this oval here is helping us know that's where that one sits. Now, remember how we had the ovals right above the eyes? Inside these shapes, we're gonna add some little arcs. We're gonna go that direction and then mimic that line and connect them. So it's almost like creating like a little teardrop. Um, same thing beside that. And more of a triangular one here. And just a little tiny baby one there. This gives us that really intense look. Same thing on the other side. Little arc, another arc and connect them. Same thing, a little fatter one there and then another little one there. All right, now for this oval that we originally drew, we're just gonna give ourselves some darker lines so we don't get confused in a minute. We're gonna darken up this section here and just a little line right there. Same thing on the other side, a little line and darken that section just so we know what are we up to. Same thing along the bottom here, right below that eye. We're just gonna darken that just a little bit. Very good. Now we're gonna add a little mimicking arc just below that. Make this one just a little bit rounder. I'm just gonna do that on that side. Now we're ready for some of our stripes along the face. So this circle here is gonna be like darker fur. Um, it, they've got like fluffy white and then darker orangish fur there. Now this line is gonna help us get some of their stripes. So we're gonna follow that line down toward that mouth. And then we're just gonna kind of fatten it up and go up. So we've just kind of created like a fatter arc there. Let's add a little one right next to that and one that kind of connects back to it, just like that. So we added one, two, three there. Now where we have our triangle, we're gonna add a couple dots headed down. One, two, three, four, five. I think five would be good. Let's add five dots on either side, just below that eye. And then just inside that, we're gonna give just a couple little hash marks to show their nose is kind of broad, but there is some depth there and that will help us get that depth. Okay, let's go over to this side and add in our stripes. We have one that lives right on that circle. So we're just kind of going to add in a stripe there and then going in toward the inside, a little mimicking one. And then let's add kind of one that looks like a check mark right there. All right. 
Last but not least, we're going to do whiskers. We're going to practice a few things um, and, then, and then we'll go with marker. So for the whiskers, it's a touch and a flick, a touch and a flick, a touch and a flick. See how when you do that, we have a section here that's got whiskers and then a section here. Just touch and flick your pencil so you get the feel of that. As you do that, see how it's dark and it goes nice and light? We're going to do that with our marker. So practice that with your whiskers. Let's go back up to these ears. Let's add in one little kind of mimicking line there to give our ears some depth and one little mimicking line there. Now for our fur, we're going to have a couple different shapes here. On this inside circle, let's just practice it real quick with our pencil. We'll just do a little bit of it. And then I think you can wing it with your marker. On the inside here, this fur, it's a simple back and forth like that kind of motion, but you're going to make it nice and close together because this fur looks darker. And we're going to angle it kind of headed down to our mouth. We're going to do the same thing on this side it's going to come out and be pointed down toward our mouth. Now the fur that's on the outside circle, it's going to be longer and looser and lighter. So we're just going to use some kind of touches and flicks around and point it down toward our, our mouth. Okay, so just so you get the idea of those types of shapes and how to do it. All right, so we have all the lines that we need for our tiger. So let's set down our pencil and move to our marker. I'm using a Sharpie. You can use whatever kind of marker you have on hand or a pen, just something that you can't erase. That's the trick. All right, we're gonna start right at this part that we had. Touch the part and follow along the top part of that circle and stop when you get to the ear. Same thing on the other side. Around that part, stop when you get to the ear. Now for the ear, these circles and connecting triangles that we made are going to help us get that shape. So we're going to go down into that face there and draw a little bit around that circle onto that connecting triangle, around the top of that circle, down that connecting triangle, and around the circle, and stop. Let's add in that little mimicking line, that very last thing that we drew. Same thing on the other side. You're going from right about there around that circle, onto that connecting triangle, and around, and stop. Now let's add in our little mimicking line. Okay, now from here, the their ears have some fur that sits in front of them. So we're gonna add that in right along this second circle line in. You know how we had all those concentric circles? So along this second circle line, we're gonna do some of that back and forth, then back and forth, and it's gonna be bigger and looser, back and forth and back and forth. It's gonna be pointed away and then back toward the face, headed down. And then where we had that very first circle, we're just gonna add in a couple of those along there, back and forth. Okay, let's do our eyes next because that's gonna help us know where everything else goes. We're gonna go right over that arc that we had and down that straight line and we're gonna draw around the portion of the circle that we can see inside that, just like that. Now, the, for the darker part, draw around that, trace around your highlight, and fill in your pupil. That's the dark part of your eye. Now, where we have those connecting triangles, we're gonna fill those in with our marker as well. And that is gonna give us that nice, dark shape that goes around their eyes. Same thing on the other side, over that arc, down that, draw around the circular part that you can see, around that pupil, draw around your highlight and fill the rest in. Now you can do those little connecting triangles, just like that. Now let's do, um, let's do our nose. Uh, for the nose, the shapes that we're gonna get, let's start on this side. We're gonna follow along that triangle and then we're gonna go around that little circle that we had and back down. We're gonna go back to the top, go over that arc and over that arc. Now we're gonna go down the triangle, around the top part of that circle 
and down. Now for their nostril, where our triangle is, we're going to fill in just that intersection of that circle. So if you wanted to, you could draw a straight line there and then just fill in that top part. You could do that too. That's another way to do that. All right, where we had that flatter triangle there, we're going to go down this line and then curve up that circle there. So down that line then we're going to let it curve around just like that. And when we get toward the, that connecting triangle that we had, that big triangle, we're just going to kind of lightly go up that. All right, down that flat line, around that circle. When we get up here toward that connecting triangle, nice and light, just head up just a hint of that. Let's add in our little marks here, our little hash marks that we had. Those are nice and light, just kind of lightly kind of touch and flick your pen down those. And now we can add in our little decorative dots. We've got one, two, three, four, five. If they don't end up exactly where you had them with your pencil, that's okay. Just an approximation so you know where they went. Um, that's fine. Okay, let's go back and add in this section where the fur is happening. So like I said, it's going to be that back and forth kind of motion and it's nice and close together. And then as you get down toward the bottom, it's more of a scribble. And you can go back and kind of make it look a little messier. All right, same thing on the other side, back and forth, nice and tight. Follow that circle down toward the mouth and go back and widen it up a little bit. Make it look a little messier. Okay, now let's do that outer section. Actually, let's do their, their mouth first. This We need this ring. On this one, you know how we went this way on this fur and this way on this fur? We're going to do that exact thing around the edges of this circle. So we're going to go from where it touches that, we're just going to kind of go that way and then back that way. So we've got the nose and the snout and now the mouth. Now, right below that nose, let's just add in with our marker. We're going to kind of come straight down some touches and flicks just like that to give us a shadow so it pushes that ends up pushing the nose out toward us and the mouth back now we need to add in that fur that is white around their edges so that one is just a touch and a flick all the way down and as it goes down they get smaller pointed toward their chin same thing on the other side down around you go I'm going to go back in and make mine a little bit messier because he got very tidy. don't want him to be super tidy. You can do the same or you can leave it. You can take a look and see what you like. All right, we're ready to add in our markings. Well, so let's start at the top of the head and work our way down. It's just some simple markings. Let's start at the part and go down and over. Same thing on the other side, down and over. Fill in that shape with your marker. Oh, I forgot a spot on our ear. We can come down from there, that little connecting triangle we had, and just kind of sketch that in a little bit. All right, so moving down. Next one. And then over to the other side. Now fill it all the way in. Another one. This one's a little bit more solid. Now these shapes, they're very organic, so if yours don't look exactly like mine, that's fine. If you wanted to add in like another one there, you could. They kind of just go toward that part, and most of them meet up at that part and kind of come out. Okay, on to the eyes. Remember where I had you darken in the top part of that line? Let's do a little bit there, and the same thing around the other side. You have this section of fur. It's like white right above their eyes, and then it gets lighter, um, like a more of a yellowy. Okay, so right above their eyes, where we had those little arced shapes, we're going to fill those in with our marker. And they kind of just get like smaller as they go along. Add those in. All right, now for the face ones. We're going to do this one first. Down and around and back up and in. We've got that one 
and then we added that little one there. Let's go over to the other side, down and around. And then that next one, and then that little check mark that we had. Now for their eyes, we're gonna add in that little arc there. And then where we darkened along that oval, we're just gonna add in those little lines as well. We are ready for some whiskers and then we're ready to erase. So for the whiskers, touch and flick. It doesn't have to be exactly where you had it because we'll erase what you had, but that gives you an idea of where to do them and how to do them. Okay, we have everything we need for our tiger. We are ready to erase. I think you're gonna be excited with what you just drew. I'm gonna switch back to my guide because I drew this one in pencil and I'm gonna erase right along with you. Make sure I'm lined up where you can see me. Okay, steady your paper with your non-drawing hand and just go over your markings with your eraser and erase all of your guides. You're gonna be left with a super cool tiger. If you have a spot where it's a little darker, where you drew a little darker, take a second and go over that again. Get it all erased. This makes it look like it was super simple for you. And I think actually drawing this way does make it simpler. You break it down into lots of easy shapes and uh, you end up with something cool when you use those shapes to build your drawing. I always say I build my drawings because I use the shapes and uh, ends up giving it the depth I want and the details I want. Send me your drawings. You can find me on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, uh, Rebecca Inc. On Instagram, I'm at Rebecca Inc. Bink. And uh, you can also find me online, RebeccaInc.com. If you send me your drawings on RebeccaInc.com, you'll find a section called Interact. I'll put your drawings up there, and you can check them out. All right, well, thank you for drawing with me today. Let me know what you want to draw, and have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow.